Although this little alley is so close, we can't, we cannot pass that. Oh, <laughs> chew that. Now that alley is probably about seven foot from us. Completely taking no regard of us while removing the bark from the weeping wattle. as she turns that branch in her mouth to remove the bark. There we go. Got it? Yum. You can see how incredibly dexterous they are with their trunk. Now she's choosing that specific piece that she's loosened with her teeth. See that prehensile, those two prehensile tips on her trunk that basically operate like a hand. Now, Aubrey, who's 18, says, what's wrong with the skin on her head? It seems discolored. Well, if we have a closer look there, um, you can see there is some discoloration there, and that's from putting your head in bushes. So it's just transference or rub off from whatever she's been feeding off. Um, looks like she might have scratched her head against one of the terminalias. It's got a bit of lichen on it, and that's the discoloration. So there's nothing wrong whatsoever. She's just got some vegetation discoloration on her forehead. <laughs> yeah. It is incredible to just sit quietly with elephants and just watch those minute little movements if we look at their trunk a bit more carefully and that Constantina effect it has it's just I always find it fascinating when you close the elephants to watch it carefully as those wrinkles get bigger or smaller as they maneuver it around Gonna throw the branch at you, Brian. Now, if she is now about four foot from Brian, here's the thumb. Isn't this just amazing? Isn't it so special that she feels absolutely no threat from us whatsoever? Yeah. Off she goes, she's finished with her branch. 